என்ன மாதிரி சபி சிக்ஸ் இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கு வந்து ஒரு கவலை இருக்கும் மேக்கப் பண்ணால் என்னடா என்ன மேக்கப் பண்ணாலும் குண்டாக இருக்கே முகம் அப்படின்ட்டு ஏன்னா நான் ஃபீல் பண்ணியிருக்கிறது அவங்கள்ட்ட சொல்கிறேன் ஸோ வந்து இப்போ வந்து ஸ்கல்ப்டிங் லுக் எப்படி கொண்டு வர்றது மேக்கப்பில் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அவங்க எக்ஸ்பிளைன் பண்ண போகிறாங்க மேட்லிங் ஸோ டுடே ஒர்க் இட் பி யூசிங் த ஹூவா ப்ரான்சர் பை பெனிஃபிட் ஐ லவ் திஸ் ப்ரான்சர் இட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி நைஸ் இட்ஸ் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல்லி Uh, what we're going to use with this is going to be another fluffy brush. You can use something um, like this fan as well. Um, but I like to use this brush just because I'm more comfortable with it. But again, it's totally up to you. Um, I'm going to take this, swirl it around. Now a little bit goes a long way with this too. Um, you want to make sure that you're not... putting too much on to where um you know it's it's a little bit too much a little too strong so <laughs> we're going to do we're going to start here to the hairline here okay. so we're going to start and we're going to start taking it just right across here i always start right in the hairline right at the top of the ear and then bring it down and you can also top part like in the temple area as well And again, we're making it very subtle by adding just like a little bit at a time here. Take a little bit here too, right at the top of the forehead. And so this normally helps. Um, Golda has a, a smaller forehead. I have a larger forehead, so I like to take a lot of that like right in this area um, just to make my forehead look smaller so if that's the case for you um, i would definitely do that as well i'm only going to do a little bit for golda because she really doesn't have that problem at all so just a little bit there and so again starting like at the hairline right in here like at the top of her ear and we're going to go at an angle down and so we're going to bring it down here and i don't like to go too far over um if you bring it too far over i think that uh it kind of interferes with the blush too um so i like to kind of keep it just right at the apple of the cheeks and we can also do a little bit for this area too as well um we can take just a little bit at the bottom of the chin and that will kind of bring out our jaw too as well take a brush like this. It's a little bit fluffier. I use one similar for our concealer that we put on, um but this is just a little bit fluffier and so I'm going to take this and we're going to do a little bit on the nose as well. Now this you want to be very very subtle. A lot goes a long way. So we're just going to take just a little bit here and just bring it down the sides of her nose. Just a little and we're going to bring it down here just right on the sides you don't want to do it in the center because we want the center to be lighter so that way it kind of draws up and so that's where the light normally hits you and so that's where you'll get that perfect sculpted nose like that. And that's all really I do for the contouring. I'm also going to go in with this Sephora colorful blush and this is called Hey Jealousy. It's a very bright pink color. It's going to be really pretty and excited. And we're going to use I'm just going to use a similar brush too um that I used for the contouring. Um this is very bright so I'm just going to use just a very small amount. um and to very much tap it out so we're going to start and i'm just going to start right 
at the apples of the cheeks and work my way over. And we're gonna spray the Fix Plus spray all over. And so what this is gonna do is it's going to help set your makeup, but it's also gonna help hydrate it and make it look you know, nice okay. and dewy and very skin-like. <laughs> so make sure that you subscribe to Golda Vlogs. Like it, share it, comment, but most importantly, subscribe. <laughs>